Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Thursday Theorist Review. Today we are talking about Stephen King's newest, Billy Summers. If you don't know what the Thursday Theorist series is, it's where I connect all of Stephen King's books ever since Carrie, all the way up to the most latest, uh, to the Dark Tower series um, by way of theories or by way of actual factual content from the book that references specifically the Dark Tower or the Stephen King universe as a whole. But let's get right into the video. First up, we have uh, Billy referencing himself as the outsider. I know this is a very small, I mean, I'm, 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 I'm reaching here, but I did want to uh, mention this because Billy says it at least three times within, I think, uh, three or four paragraphs toward the beginning of the book, and I think that's important. There is another section where uh, Stephen King talks about you never know what's coming around the corner, around the bend. Um, that seems to reference, uh, that section specifically seems to reference uh, his van accident. Again, I could be reaching. I like to throw the reaching parts up front um, and then get to the stuff that I have that I feel are valid claims. Um, if you if you're if you've been watching the Thursday Theorist video, there's over 60 of them at this point. I, I'm sure you know. But for those of you new, before I go any farther, um, this video is going to be loaded with spoilers for this book and his entire catalog. So if you have not read all of his books and you're worried about spoilers, I suggest you click away. Next up is something that um, I found for uh, whatever reason the this name uh, not spoke to me, but this name you know caught my interest, piqued my interest, whatever you want to say. So I went and looked up. Uh, my friend Patrick Costin has a database of all of King's books. I'm not going to share it because technically it's it's piracy if we share it. Um, but I was able to do a search through. I own all of his books anyways in multiple different formats, so I don't consider it piracy me looking at it, but I'm not going to share it with you is what I'm getting at. Um, uh, and Patrick, I don't think Patrick's sharing it with anybody either. Um, but uh, there was a character, let's see here, let me check my notes. Um, there was a character, Mr. Stepanik and Dalton Smith. The reason why this, I, well, I don't know why it piqued my interest. I don't even know why I remember it. But there is a character named Stephanie Stepanek, nay Dalton. In fact, I may have got that backward. Um, one might be in one in the mist, and one might be in in Billy Summers. But I, I thought it was. I don't know. Sometimes King just reuses names like uh, like Trelawney in. Um, I think it was The Outsider, and there was a Trelawney in uh, the Mercedes trilogy. But again, this stuff up front is is reaching. I just want to throw these thoughts out that I had while I was reading the book. Next up, we have Midwood, um, which is a location in Billy Summers. Um, it's where he spends the majority of his time, and yes, I, I'm going to mention it because it does sound a lot like Midworld. Um, I'm not going to, that's not my connection to the Dark Tower series, I just wanted to make note of it. Now on to actual references uh, in the book to other Stephen King works. The very first one that I'm going to talk about is the mention of, I believe it was Billy's mother working the mangle or the mangler, the uh, laundry press folding machine um, that Stephen King wrote about very early on in his career. Um, I'm not sure if it was Skeleton Crew um, or Night Shift. I forgot to check before I shot the video, but uh, it's a short story called The Mangler uh, that was made into an adaptation with uh, Robert England, I believe, and some other folks. Uh, it's a pretty decent adaptation. It was a lot of fun, I felt, but it is a cheesy, low-budget horror movie. Next up, and this is my hard tie-in to the Dark Tower series, because numerous, numerous times is Inside View mentioned in the Dark Tower series, and it is mentioned here. Um, I always forget the guy's name from Night Flyer, but he worked for uh, for Inside View, and I've, I've tied... All that stuff. I mean, it's literally mentioned in the Dark Tower books. Um, Inside View is mentioned many times. So there's your hard connect. But I have another one that I enjoy a bit more. But we'll get to that in a second. Next up, we have another connection to the Dark Tower by way of Stephen King himself. Uh, referencing himself or putting himself in books as a character. Of course, he is a character in Saga, Song of Susanna. I can't remember if he's in uh, Wolves of the Kala or the, the last book, The Dark Tower, but he references himself. He does not, uh, he, he does not mention 
uh, that this is, this quote is from Stephen King. But if you listen to the audiobook, Stephen King actually quotes himself. They bring him in as a narrator for one line, and that line is, I always keep two things in mind, myself and the stranger. Um, so that that's a Stephen King quote. Um, it, it was interesting that they would bring him in just for that little small section. I thought it was a really cool Easter egg to, uh, to add to the audiobook. And what I want to know is, did any of you catch that in the text? Because I didn't catch it in the text, I caught it in the audiobook. And last, but certainly not least, the most important piece of the puzzle in this one is Sidewinder Colorado and the Overlook Hotel are referenced numerous times. In fact, Billy actually visits Sidewinder. Um, uh, on top of that, there is a painting, a picture, uh, in his, I believe it's the apartment he's hiding in. It has to be because it's after the, uh, the assassination attempt. And the, the hedge animals in the picture move. I've already connected uh, The Shining to the Stephen King universe. I believe that The Shining was a thinny and the creature or the shapes and everything that you see at the end of the book, um, I believe those are, you know, creatures from The Prim or something like a, like not really a Pennywise, but more of an ethereal type of creature. Um, I, I know, I know I didn't like this book. And I appreciate and respect you guys who came forward and said um, that you did like the book. Res the, you, those of you who were respectful, those of you who weren't, I did remove you from the channel. Um, you won't, your comments won't show up anymore. They, it'll look like they're there, but they won't show up anymore. All I ask is that you be respectful when we talk about these things. Don't insult me, and I won't insult you. But uh, did you find anything that I missed here? I don't think I left anything out this time. I always tell you guys when I leave things out for you to find. I did not do that this time, um, but I might next time. I don't know, but I'll tell you any time that I do. Um, did you find anything? Let me know down there in the doobly-doo. Also, let me know whether or not you liked this book, whether or not you loved it, hated it, felt meh about it. Let me know um, if you haven't already. You don't have to repeat yourself uh, if you already commented on the review. But let me know these things and let me know why you felt these things so that we can have a discussion. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Thursday Theorist Review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. And for those of you who hang around or watch the community posts, those of you still watching the video, there is a, uh, on my Twitter account, the link's down there in the doobly-doo, there is a contest right now to win a copy of, I think it's right here, Night Shift, the Cemetery Dance Gift Edition. Uh, all you have to do is retweet um, the my pinned tweet and make sure that you are following me on Twitter and that you subscribe to me here on YouTube. That's all you got to do. Good luck.